Hi everyone. My name is Niroshan Madam Pitikir. I'll be teaching you the resource management module. I'll ensure this session, this module is not going to be something bad. Primarily, the contents of this module is based on 7th edition of Project Management Body of Knowledge. After completing this module, not only you will be able to be an effective resource manager or a project manager for your own project, but also you'll gain the knowledge required to cover the cost management and resource management of the PMP exam from PMI. In this very first tutorial, I'm going to provide you an introduction to resource management. You'll get to know the contents of this module, assignments and assessment details. If you look at the module, the project management, unlike the traditional approach, project management is not only about scheduling the project tasks. It also depends upon how you manage resources well suited to organizational maturity at project level, program level, as well as portfolio level. Resources are very significant, if not primary components of project management. And if these resources are not properly assigned to the projects and managed, they may lead to project failure being counterproductive. So resource management is essential for an organization practicing project management approaches. I hope you'll join me on this journey to go through resource management and learn more about project management. And I can assure that what you're going to learn here will be the game changers for you to take away. Good luck and hope to see you in the coming tutorials. Now let's have a look at the program structure. I hope you're well familiar with the program structure. As you know, the resource management module is in the first semester and it's a 20 credit subject. Your third semester is 60 credit project and you will apply what you learned in the other six modules in the first and second semesters. Of course, what you learn in this module is gonna be greatly being used in your project work and thereafter in your real life projects. Now let's have a look at the module outcomes. This module will be covered in 10 different sessions, whereas each session may have one or many video tutorials. It's important that you go through all these tutorial videos and pay attention on the additional reading recommended. There are four major learning outcomes for this module. First outcome is to identify the theories and techniques relating to human capital development, in particular, those relating to motivation. Outcome number two, evaluate change management theories and assess the potential challenges and opportunities associated with implementing change and the characteristics of a learning organization. Outcome three, examine the role of financial management techniques for the monitoring and control of the financial resource alongside the significance of cost information and its contribution towards 
short, interim, and long-term planning. Fourth outcome, which is the last one, is to evaluate the role of standard financial management and account practices in different types of organizations. In our share, the coverage of the module will ensure that you go out as a confident resource manager, knowing the concepts behind resource management practices and effective ways in applying them into your next project. The topics discussed and key timelines. Now let's have a look at these 10 sessions and its organization. Each session is supported with a PowerPoint and additional reading uploaded into Moodle. For each session, there will be recommended additional reading that you will need to go through after going through the tutorial. You'll have videos uploaded into Moodle and YouTube for each session listed in this slide. We recommend that you study one session per week at least. Since the videos are readily available for you, you may watch them and study at your convenience too. However, the most important thing is your commitment, dedication and hard work. And that will assure you'll become a great project manager soon. Good luck. Now let's have a look at the module assignment and the assessment plan. This module is based on a single assignment. Assessment of the module is through one coursework, which is split into two patches. In this assignment, you will be required to investigate the effective management and integration of key resources. Once the investigation is complete, you should be able to evaluate the applications of any recommendations to improve performance and manage change. You should also be able to comment on the impact of these changes across industry. In addition, you should be able to consider financial implications for an organization. This will include assessing and commenting on the financial health of the organization using performance and other measures, such as profitability, liquidity, efficiency, etc. Over a time frame of at least five years, Using these measures, you'll be able to advise the organization of any pitfalls and improvements which could made for improved performance. Module assignment part one. As I already briefed you, this module resource management has just one assignment. However, that assignment is split into two parts, and this is part number one. Assessment part number one is a team presentation, which is 20 minutes long. The team presentation should demonstrate your team's understanding of how the elements within resource management integrate. In other words, you should explain how human resources and financial capabilities must integrate to achieve organizational success. Your team should give a brief explanation of the impact of HR and finance on an organizational success. This should be academically underpinned. The main part of the presentation relates to your team's understanding on how these resources integrate. You should give examples from real organizations gathering data from your own experience and from information available to the public. For example, 
newspapers, professional journals, and trade magazines. In addition, you may consult databases such as FEM for data and financial information. Please do not use information gathered solely from organizations' websites. Finally, you should evaluate the approach you have taken in teams for achieving the assignment brief and reflect on the learning process you have undergone as a team. An assist 20 minutes team presentation will be presented to your tutors on your initial findings. Your team will be expected to cover issues to include the following as a minimum. Number one, a very brief definition of HR and finance. Second, examples of resource integration from different organizations. Third, your team's reflections on learning. How would go about things differently next time? Propose your own recommendations for effective resource management in a large project, basing your learning. Last, discuss the importance of resource management in effective change management in a project. I hope you understand what is required in this assignment and hope to see great submissions. Good luck. Congratulations. You have already completed module assignment part one, which was a team presentation. This is module assignment part two, which is an individual presentation. In this assignment, you'll be required to write a report enclosing your research and findings from the previous presentation, but from an individual perspective. You may choose the same companies and examples from the presentation or alternative companies which you may prefer to investigate. You'll evaluate and critic your selected companies, considering key resources within the organization, specifically people and finance. You'll demonstrate how and why the integration is necessary to develop resource capability in order for corporate and operational strategies to be successful. Using these findings and measures, you should be able to advise the organization of any pitfalls and improvements which could be made for improved performance. The report will not exceed 2,000 words, excluding appendices. Hope you're going to enjoy the process and good luck for the future tutorials and assignments. Well, now we are almost done with the introduction to the module. What is up next is session one tutorial number two. That is above an introduction to resource management that will talk about human resource management as well. Good luck and see you there.